Good yeah. to go. Three, two, one. All right. Hello, everyone. You're watching The Brief, where we bring you up-to-date information on everything CSUN Athletics. Let's kick things off with William David, who went down to cover baseball's doubleheader. I'm William David here live at Reseda High School as the CSUN Sports Club baseball team is about to take on the USD Matadors. We're going to have full post-game coverage for you, including interviews after the game. The University of San Diego Toreros came out hot from the field with their bats, hitting three straight triples in the inning. The Matadors would go on to lose the game 8-3 in the first game of their doubleheader. And in the second game, here's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back walks, three walks in a row that led to a bases loaded jam. But the Matadors would get out of it with good pitching. Here's a roller to second, and they get out of the jam with that out. And here's a triple by the Matadors that goes all the way to center field. Two runs will score. Two RBIs on the triple. And here's another shot to center that rolled all the way to the gate. He ends up, up on third, but the Matadors couldn't get him across in this inning. They bring in their relief pitcher, and he did a nice job with three scoreless innings. Here's the final out of the game, a hit to right field, and that would end the game, and the Matadors would go on to win eight to five in the second game of their doubleheader. And I caught up with Brian Casarano after the game. You had a nice triple on the bottom of the six in the second game off the left center field gate. What were you looking for at that event? Uh, I was looking for a fastball right down the plate. You know, just go up the middle, don't try to do too much with it. Uh, Brian, you guys uh, lost the first game 8-5. to five. Um, Just too many walks in that game. How do you guys think you bounced back and um, won the second game? Um, you know, our first game, our pitching was off. But uh, we came back, we knew. Uh, our pitching was, was going to be better the second game. We played our game and uh, we just capitalized on the, their mistakes, got the runs, got the hits at the right time, and it was clutch. Boxing's coming up next. James Jewett has the story. Thanks, Will. Now we have a new segment called Chasing Greatness, and it's for every athletic team when they make it to their postseason, their regionals, their nationals. We're going to look into why that team did so well and what they're doing to prepare for their ultimate test, which is regionals and nationals. This week, we have boxing. Check out this snippet from this week's episode. And just really getting, getting nitty gritty and, and fine tuning everything. Tonight's warm up starts with jump rope, followed by shadow boxing. These both lead up to the night's most important exercise. A three-round spar with one of Macario's friends and teammates. Samuel Zalde, third place, Novice Division 152, 2013, All-American, Athlete of the Year, CSUN. Sam will be instrumental in helping Macario correct minor flaws in his game. Click here to watch the entire episode. Matadors Boxing is going to Nationals April 3rd and 4th. We'll have another week next, we'll have another episode next week. Stay with us. Matadors Men's Soccer went down to Bakersfield City College, or up, depending on which way you're looking at the map. And this is Justin Gomillion. Tell us about how the game went. Uh, we were away in Bakersfield. We won the game 8-1. to one. Um, In the first 10 minutes, we gave up an early goal. Uh, it took us some time to get settled, but uh, about maybe five to ten minutes after that, we got two quick goals uh, from Salvador Mora and Rogelio Martinez. Um, and then we went into halftime two to one, and we talked at halftime about getting more organized and trying to catch this team on the counter because they like to press high up the field. And we were able to get in behind pretty quickly. Rogelio Martinez got two more goals for us, and we brought on Brennan Livingston uh, for the last 15 or 20 minutes, and he picked up four quick goals. So, eight to one. Thanks, Justin. Now we're going to bring on Jesse Martinez from the Triathlon Club. They went down and had regionals in San Luis Obispo over the weekend. Let's find out how they did. Jesse, how'd your team do? 
We had one girl finish her first Olympic distance, and we had one guy get hypothermia, so he wasn't able to finish. Um, and another girl did a sprint distance, her second one, and we had two people finish uh, their second Olympic distance. So all in all, it was a good weekend. It was a good weekend. That performance was good enough to get you guys to nationals. A um, couple teams you guys are playing against, UCLA, USC are going to be there. What team do you want to beat the most? Um, I think UCSD, UC San Diego, Ooh. they uh, they got the number one guy in our in our region on their team. I mean, he is 27, so he's a few years older than everybody else. So I feel like that's a little bit of a disadvantage to everybody else, but that would still be sweet to, to get one up on them. All right. Uh, San Diego. Sounds good, bud. Well, good luck in your nationals. Not this weekend, but the next. Have a great time, and we'll catch up with you afterwards and see how the team did. Every week, right here on The Brief, we're going to feature um, some different players of each sport club. And this week, um, I caught up with one of the basketball players. Here it is. Check it out. My name is Charles Anyman. I'm a member of the Basketball Sports Club on campus. We play a power forward position. Um, I'm a communication major, and I'm graduating this spring. See the full interview right here. And that's this week's The Brief. Now we'll go to our update anchor, Ryan Music with what's happening in weeks to come. First things first, make sure to keep an eye out for us on campus. We'll have a table set up at the CSUN Dine on April 3rd from 4 to 7 on the grass in front of Baramian Hall. Also, check out our website. We'll be having some new things on there, some player profiles. Coming up this week, we have baseball. We'll be down in San Diego. They have a game at 11 on Saturday and then at 4 on Sunday. And then women's soccer is at home on Saturday. They have a game at 11.30. See you there.